The Prince and Princess of Wales will lead the tributes to the late Queen on the first anniversary of her death. They are to deliver a public message honouring the life and legacy of the monarch, who died on September 8th. William and Kate will also use the occasion to look forward, a source said. But the King will mark the anniversary quietly and privately at Balmoral in Scotland, where she died aged 96. While William and Kate are to reflect on the Queen's long reign and life, they will also use the opportunity to look forward, sources said. Final plans are still being made over how their address will be delivered, whether in person or via their social media, to millions of fans. A royal source said, Her Majesty's passing was an event that truly signified the end of an era. The royal family has been in transition since then, and following the coronation and conclusion of the summer holidays, there will be an expectation to see what is next. Palace officials said Charles, 74, will spend the anniversary quietly and privately, just as the late Queen did to mark her own father's passing. She stayed at Sandringham in Norfolk until after the anniversary of George VI's death, on February 6, following the Christmas break. Members of the royal family may attend public engagements around the late Queen's anniversary. But palace sources said there were no plans for any public event or private family gathering attended by all of them. The King, who this month began his summer in Scotland, will receive family members to Balmoral shortly. The monarch also welcomes serving PMs, and Rishi Sunak will stay at the estate with his family. Prince Harry and Meghan were last week reportedly denied an invite to Balmoral, as relations between him and his dad worsen. The King is expected to travel to France soon for a state visit that was postponed due to riots. Charles and Camilla may visit Kenya in the autumn.